I'd like to welcome everyone to the Board of Trustees meeting Monday, December 5th at 7.29 p.m. Uh, if we all could please stand for the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic, which is the nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everyone, please remain standing again. This is for all the people that are that have uh, died to protect our country in, in any conflict or any war. This is for everyone who 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 has died because of the war later on times. Thank you very much. You may sit down. Hmm? Like to do a roll call vote, please. Trustee Alpert. Present. Trustee Gorgon. Present. Trustee Soberman. Present. Trustee Hagan. Present. Our upcoming meetings or regular meeting will be January. Oh, I'm sorry, and Mayor Curley present. I apologize. Our upcoming meeting is a regular meeting of January 9, 2023 at 7 p.m. And a regular uh, meeting Monday, February 6, 2023 at 7 p.m. I'd like to make a motion for approval of the November 14, 2022 Board of Trustees uh, meeting minutes. <coughs> I so move that we accept them. Motion made by Trustee Solomon. Can I get a second, please? Second, Trustee Alpert. Second made by Trustee Alpert. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion passes. Um, I'd like to call up the, at this point, I'd like to call up the fire department for their update. Fire department. Good evening, Mr. Mayor and the Village Board members. How are you tonight? Very good, sir. Could you introduce yourself, sir? Sure. My name is Vincent Mistrillo. I'm the battalion chief for the Suffern Fire Department. Very good. You're also yeah. a resident of Suffern, aren't you, sir? Uh, for my whole life, yes. I saw you at the pool. You tried to push me in one time. That's how I remember you. <laughs> Nobody saw that. You have no evidence. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, I'm here uh, on behalf of Chief Coffer. I had one item to uh, bring up today, and I just wanted to let uh, the Village Board know that the, uh, the fire whistle is out of service. We're working with Whalen and Goosetown um, in trying to isolate the issue and uh, repair or replace as necessary. Um, preliminarily, uh, Whalen is saying that it can't be repaired because the power supply is damaged and it's obsolete. So we don't have anything concrete yet. We're just trying to work with them and see if there's a solution we can come up with uh, in order to, to fix it. There's no, right now we don't have any ballpark of what the cost would be for, for repairs or replacement at this time. Um, so at, at the time that we do have an answer and, and a price, we'll come back to the village board and, and keep you informed on what's I, I, going on. So just so you know, uh, it's been in service for about 25 years. It was on the old uh, Avon building and it was repurposed and it was it's on top of the village hall now. I, I don't know if you noticed, but it doesn't go off um, anymore. So it's damaged. The power supply is not working. So we're just working with um, the manufacturer in Goosetown, which is like our uh, communication specialist. And they're going to uh, keep us informed on, on what options we have to either repair or replace it. This is a fire horn of some sort? Yeah, the fire horn, yes. It's on the it's on the village hall, yes. So uh, you may hear it, you know, when we go out or at 702, it usually goes off. Have you, has it affected your response time? Uh, it hasn't. However, in the event that you don't have your pager on you or your phone, you're going for a jog, you know, I mean, it's, uh, I think it's paramount to have only because, you know, it's the only other thing that we do have, you know, aside from our pagers. Um, can we, can we, we get someone from recreation to stand on top of the building when something goes, they scream and yell? Like, like a bullhorn? You know, I, I'm all for it. I like I'm all for it. it. But um, as far as like details of, of the the ins and outs of what's going on with it, I, I'm not 100. percent I might have yeah. to get back to you. But all right. thank you for your time. All right. I just have one question. Sure. What's the second company that you're working with? The communications. Uh, Goose Town Communications. Goose, as in flying goose. As in flying goose. Is yeah. that why it sounds like someone's squashing a goose? I don't know. You know, it's the only off? one I've really heard like that. I, I <laughs> maybe we could change it. I, I don't know if it's tradition, but it, it is. Just wondering. Old. Everyone laughs if I'm on the phone. 
What is that? Yeah, it sounds... What is that? And I'm like, oh, it's, you know, somebody stepping on a goose in the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> it almost sounds like uh, some sort of nuclear warning, you know. <laughs> but it, it is antiquated in any event, you know, we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted. I want to thank the fire department for the good job at the fire the other night. Mm-hmm. Thank I you. I want to thank you for getting up in the middle of the night. And, uh, and thank you for the excellent job on the parade, assisting this village and making it a great event for this whole community. Great. Thank I, you for having I, us. It was a great job on everyone's you. behalf. Pass it on to your men, okay? I will. Women. Thank you. And women. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Culture and recreation, please. You got a bullhorn with you. <laughs> Good evening, Mayor. Good evening, Village Board. Uh, we have one event coming up at the middle of December. The menorah lighting will be outside on Village Hall, uh, the front of Village Hall, on December 18th at 6 p.m. So we look forward to having that. Um, and we have a member of our audience that she'd like to come up. As you know, when we do events, we have staff, we've got all our departments, we've got volunteers, we've got helpers. We're very fortunate. Um, Mayor, the, the group of people that you picked for the rec board this year to add to the current rec board members have been fabulous. We've got a lot of great events that we've been able to use them. And Mary Guccione, who's here in our audience today, is moving on from us. Well, so I wanted we'll to... We'll only let her come up and speak if she changes yes. her mind about moving, because we, we love her here, okay? We do, okay. we do. So that's... Right, come on I'm, up, Mary. Yeah, my part is small, but I just wanted to bring Mary up, so she wanted to say a few words She's a good everybody. photographer, too. <laughs> yes, yeah. very much. Oh, <laughs> Good evening. Um, thank you. As Kathy said, my name is Mary Guccione, and I've been a part of the Recreation Board, I think, since 2006. Um, so it's been a little while. Um, so I just wanted to, um, I had a little something I just wanted to say. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. So just bear with me. Um, I've had the wonderful opportunity to serve on the Recreation Board for too many years to mention, but they've all been wonderful. Um, I believe my first year, I think I said, was around 2006 or 2007. Gail Curtin had asked me to become part of the Recreation Board. I was welcomed in from the start, and I have been able to give back and be a part of so many wonderful events and projects in our amazing village. My husband and I are moving on to warmer weather. <laughs> uh, he will be retiring, so we will come and visit the snow once in a while, but unfortunately, we are really going. Um, so I will be formally retiring from the Recreation Board. Um, I just wanted to thank the mayor, the board, everyone on the Recreation Department for too many memories and friendships to mention. Um, it's always going to be a part of my heart. So thank you very much for um, all the wonderful years. And thank you, Kathy Mills. Thank you, thank you very much, Mary. Thank you. We'll miss you, Mary. We'll miss you, OK? I'd like to have a motion now to open up the com public comment period, please. <coughs> motion, Trustee Albert. Motion made by Trustee Albert. Can I get a second, please? Second. Second made by Trustee Sobman. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Comment period open. Being there's no speakers, I'd like to have a motion to close the public comment period. Trustee Corrigan. Trustee, motion made by Trustee Corrigan. Second, please. Second. Second. Trustee Hagen. Second made by Trustee Hagen. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Police Department, please. Good evening, Mayor and Board Members. Um, I just wanted to bring the Board up to speed on a couple of events that we had in the past and upcoming. Uh, first off, in the month of November, we responded to 749 calls for service. On November 17th, we uh, completed a commercial vehicle enforcement detail. The assigned officers inspected numerous commercial motor vehicles with good results. Um, during the detail, we issued 61 traffic summonses for various commercial vehicle related infractions, uh, made two arrests, and took eight, eight dangerous trucks out of service and off the road. Um, this type of enforcement is extremely important in taking unsafe trucks off the roadway and educating drivers on proper load securement and related issues. So I just wanted to bring that to the board's attention. 
Um, as the board is aware, this past Saturday, uh, the Village of Suffern ha held its annual holiday parade, which was our largest to date and was extremely well attended. Uh, based on feedback that I've heard and other department members from the spectators, the parade was an unqualified success and everyone had a great time. Um, I just wanted to say on behalf of the police department that I wanted to thank the mayor, the village board, the parade committee, as well as the DPW and recreation departments for all of their efforts in making the parade a great success once again. A uh, huge amount of preparation and work went into this event, and I just wanted to be sure that you know everyone was recognized for their efforts. Uh, like the mayor mentioned, Glenn Wilson, uh, a lot of work, the DPW, the recreation department, so I just wanted to you know make sure that they knew they had our thanks. Um, as I mentioned in the last board meeting, our annual DARE and PBA toy drive efforts have begun. Um, we have our toy sorting and family shopping events scheduled for next Friday, December 16th at the Community Center beginning at 5.30 p.m. I'm happy to announce that after a two-year hiatus this year, the public is once again invited to come and attend the event and volunteer in our efforts. Um, it's a fun event for all the families and the volunteers, and I'm really looking forward to our officers being able to interact with the public in a, another great uh, suffering community event. Um, I know many of our current board members have enjoyed attending in the past, and I hope to see you all there again for a great time. Uh, that's all I have for my update, unless anyone has any questions. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Chief, you. very much. Thank you. Charles Zawicki, please. Uh, good evening, board. I'd like to update the board regarding the paving projects. Uh, the paving contractor has been uh, placed on notice for defective work at the Washington Avenue firehouse, a portion of the, I'm sorry, um, at the Lafayette Avenue firehouse, a portion at the Washington Avenue firehouse and lot B. Uh, this work will be restored um, in the springtime when we have some warmer temperatures. I just, uh, if you right. have any questions regarding that, we we weren't happy with the work, so we 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 had conversations with them, but then we went the next step, actually put them on notice, so we cover ourselves legally because the job, for whatever reason, it happened. You know, we we can't we can't make them if they make a mistake and do it wrong. We can only make sure we don't come through with them and pay them until they do it correctly. So, on two different portions, the part of the B lot, they came and they paved it over again, right, Charles? They came and did some of it, but we're not happy with the job. And over in the and over in the firehouse, we're not happy with that job either. So, uh, we're gonna that probably be done again, huh? In the springtime because it's too late it's winter they probably waited a little too long to do it they got all caught up with different rain so it's uh but we're, we're not we're not approving the job and uh we're they'll they they given us their word and, and terry rice will take care of it also so we will not be paying them for you know there's certain things that they did good on parkside they did good on other roads but other other jobs they didn't do well so we will cover the villa's position and the taxpayer's position and we will not be handing out money freely until it's done properly Fair enough, Charles? Yes, that's correct. Thank you, Mayor. Um, Department of the now. Uh, oh, yeah, so moving on to the um, item A, requesting authorization for payment application number 15 for Pingaro and Deutsch Consulting Engineers, PC, for the Gosher Backup Power for Critical Facilities Project in the amount of $860.52. Item B, requesting authorization for payment application number 15 for Pingaro and Deutsch Consulting Engineers, PC, for the Gosher Hardening of Water Treatment Plant project in the amount of $7,782.68. Item C, requesting authorization for payment application number six for Meal Electric Company for the Gosher Hardening of Water Treatment Plant project in the amount of $35,625. Uh, 
Uh, item D, we adopt resolution for a boiler replacement project for the village municipal building and funding therefore is a uh, type two action pursuit of the State Environmental Quality Review Act. Can I please have a, have a motion to approve the Department of Public Works, uh, item 6A through D, please. Hmm? Trustee Corrigan. Motion made by Trustee Corrigan. Can I get a second, please? Second. Second, second made by Trustee Hagen. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. I, I have okay. a question, Charles, about yes, sir. that item D. Um, do we have an idea of what the cost will be for this boiler replacement project? We um, we did receive a uh, budget estimate from a mechanical contractor, and um, that was. I'll explain it, Charles. Yeah, we, we got we, we're going with it with different ways. The first the first one we put in for came in extremely high, about two million dollars. So we're not we're not even we, that's not the direction where we're going. So what we're doing is just doing we got. A grant from State Senator Elijah uh, Reichlin Melnick for approximately 235000 So what we're doing is just seeing what the boiler itself is, working at the boiler, whether it's a combination of boiler with that and also the police department boiler, so we're getting another quote. But we have to get these things in, and I'm sure Fred will confirm that. We have to get these things in so we do not lose our our part of the grant so we're coming up with another he's going to have another estimate i think by tomorrow or so for fred or well we received one uh, budget estimate uh, today okay you got yeah, that i didn't yeah, see that yeah, one today yeah, then okay yeah. so what was that one for i didn't see uh that, that was for uh 275 000. okay so we're over yeah. to 235 so we're good okay i was i was concerned i was more still scared with the two million dollar one charles <laughs> yeah 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 so would I. What, what, yeah, we still have to be bid, but we just wanted to cover ourselves uh, not on our grant. We had to we had to have the 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 quotes for what it was to do the boiler itself versus a whole the first thing was done based on a whole new system. Oh, I see. You know, that's where every every hot, it would be a whole new hot water system which the two if we did that we'd have to get rid of recreation. I refuse to do that. Okay? <laughs> So, all right. So, any, anything else, Charles? Um, uh, no. Any other questions? You. No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Thank right. you. <laughs> I'm fighting for you, Kathleen. <laughs> Kathleen. <laughs> Mr. Janito, how are you doing, sir? Yes. Good evening, board. Um, first item on us, uh, we have actually two items. The first one is to authorize myself as the treasurer to attend the New York State Government Finance Officers uh, 2023 Annual Conference in Albany, New York. I'd like to make a motion to uh, authorize the treasurer to, to attend the annual conference. Trustee I so Corrigan. move. Motion made by Trustee Corrigan. Got a second, please? Second. Second, second oh, made second. by Trustee Sobman. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. And uh, now we have uh, Donnelly Berard of Berard and Associates, uh, who are the auditors for the village. They completed the audit for ending uh, fiscal year ending May 31, 2022. I've asked them to make a brief presentation to the board. Uh, there is a brief presentation here uh, that's on your uh, on your table there. This is for the audit for May 31st, 2022 that you have just completed. Um, we will be issuing or have issued an unmodified opinion, which is the clean opinion that the village uh, would hopefully expect. Uh, we also did want to thank all the staff and Mike Janito and his people. They really made the audit quite smooth for us and uh, everything went very well, so I want to just thank them as well. You had actually a very uh, a successful year this year and uh, just hit the highlights for you. Uh, the general fund, which is your operating fund, after transfers had a positive uh, gain of 2.1 million. You had the revenues of about 17 million and expenses of, of 14 million with transfers for debt and capital projects of 1.3 million. That's another back-to-back -back year. You had 1.7 the year before as well. Um, <coughs> The, um, 
the fund balance for the general fund. You close the year with the fund balance of eleven million two hundred eighty-five thousand. Of that amount, though, a lot has been is uh, put aside for various purposes, either um, advances or restricted for certain uses. The unassigned balance at the end of the year is now at six million eight hundred and fifty-three, getting a little healthier every year. It's looking good. The water fund uh, actually had a positive change in fund balance this year of 211,000, bringing the ending fund balance in that fund to uh, 1.7 million. The sewer fund actually had a uh, healthy year again this year at $437,000 um, um, surplus, bringing the fund balance up to 467,000. Um, you know, again, each year you chip away a little bit at the debt. You pay down another million dollars down on the debt. Uh, your um, your financial position has just been getting better and better every year. Uh, I did review this in detail with the mayor and with, with Mike Janito. If anybody has any questions, he can either ask Mike or myself at any time. And the full report, I guess, would be available uh, with the village clerk. Anybody have any questions? Um, what is what is our what's our bond rating? Uh, Mike, what is bond rating? Yeah, uh, our bond rating with Moody's Investor Services yeah. is a yes. uh, a triple A two. Sounds good. Good read. So nice. we're, we're, I'm sorry, not triple A, uh, double A, double A three, double A three is what it is. Okay. Um, that moved up from just a few years ago, as you might re recall, 2016. We are on a BAA3 negative watch, which is just above junk status. And the negative watch meant keep it up and you're within six months, you're gonna be in junk bonds. So we are uh, very successful with the prior boards and the current board uh, in moving forward with plans to improve our financial status. In fact, the uh, sewer fund, as you saw, had a healthy fund balance. We're finally getting that fund up to a point where it owes some money back to the general fund. That was one fund that we couldn't uh, refinance at the time through the uh, deficit fund, uh, bonds. But we have a plan to pay back that money from the sewer fund uh, with the future budgets. So uh, we all did pretty well. If the, by the way, all of the board members did receive the electronic copy of the audited financial reports. Mm -hmm. And after tonight's meeting, it'll be up on the village website as is all our other reports, including our budgets. And uh, with that also, I would ask that a motion to accept the annual audited report for May 31, 22 be made and accepted when, when you're done. All right. Anybody have any other questions? Otherwise, if you make that a motion, that would be great. I move to accept the audit. Okay. I'll make a motion to uh, accept the uh, 2022 external uh, audit, please. Let's go, Fran. Motion made by Fred Sopman. Can I get a second, please? Second, Trustee Corrigan. Second by Trustee Corrigan. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Thank just, you so much. Just one question. Uh, do you know if there's enough in the budget to buy recreation a bullhorn? <laughs> <laughs> just a search really, for that money. Really big one. No, they could use a megaphone. <laughs> Megaphones are very cost effective. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Um, now it's up the trustees. Uh, Anything to say about the trustees? I think Mr. Janito was doing the best job. Nobody can do a better job than him in this building. Agreed. That's for Agreed. Me. Thank you. Agreed. And I have to say the holiday, well, this whole entire weekend was um, an amazing display once again of how this village cares and what it offers to its residents and all the caring that goes with along with that with every and each department working effortlessly and together and just it was really a spectacular weekend once again
So once again, as a resident, I was extremely proud to say that I live in Suffern. And then I got a complaint from my family in Staten Island who said, why didn't we know about that parade? We would have come. <laughs> who knew? <laughs> so next year, there'll be a few extra crazy Irish people in town. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Anyone else? Any other trustees? Good. All right. Um, I guess uh, I want to thank the whole parade committee, everyone that was involved in that from uh, they, they worked hard they worked very well together I'd say they probably worked together better this year than any year okay and I think it shows in the success of the event huh? I want to uh, we took Clark Osborne out of retirement put him back in we had uh, uh, Glenn Wilson who did, a, who did a, a super job there Kathy Mills and, and Nancy Lane and, and her team uh, DPW was with Charles Zwicky leading them with Joe Hunt and, and all of them and there was nothing but you know and if I forget anyone I'm sorry you know and I'm sure there's other names there okay well the fire department is always there right and Andy was there Andy was there running a lot of those meetings for me um, and uh, there was just there was just a just a super event and uh, it's, it's it's they're noticing that in the county the whole county they're noticing it right so I hope we just keep on you know you know going with that you know tradition started years ago and it's just gonna get better and I I guarantee you next year there's already people asking to be in it that weren't in it this year so uh, it was a safe event you know one got hurt and that's that's very important and it was the first year it was actually changed to, to a holiday parade versus a Christmas parade because we're a very inclusive committee you know the village you know and, 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 the, and the committee was very inclusive and I thought that was good because you know, I, the way I always look at things from kids' eyes, when they go to school the next day, I want all the kids happy, you know what I mean? So the kid who believes in Christmas or believes in Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or Festive, I think they call it now, that they all get to talk about it and they're all happy. And I got a few phone calls on it where people were happy because even though they came and they were proud of coming to Suffering for the Christmas Parade, they felt more inclusive. And, it, and, it, I, and again, I look at it from kids' eyes, so I think that we as a village made a smart decision there and a caring decision. Huh? And uh, I want to thank everyone for that. Um, the only thing I let we, unfor uh, fortunately or unfortunately, Chief of Police would like to go into an executive session. So uh, we have to go into an executive session for, for <coughs> five minutes or so, or ten minutes, whatever it is. Huh? Um, so can I have a motion, please, to go into executive session, please? Discuss On a person. personnel matter. Discuss personnel. I so move. Mo motion made by Trustee Soberman. Second, please. Second, Trustee Second Alvin. made by Trustee Alvin. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Can I please have a motion to, uh, to close the executive session, please? Motion, Hagen. Motion made by Trustee Hagen. Seconded by Trustee Soberman. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. I'd like to now make a motion to close the... To close the meeting. Okay. Motion, Trustee Albert. Motion made by Trustee Albert. Second, please. Trustee Second. Corrigan. Second, may I trustee call in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes.